Motherfucker just pounding that spaghetti. Just housing it. Like, like I a mean, true Italian? He, he, listen, he's storing that spaghetti in his cheeks for the winter. <laughs> this is just how like Italians a little Italian this, squirrel. This is how Italians operate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat large amounts of pasta during the fall so we can survive with the hot. But we didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Italians are Sicily's bears. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Odo. What kept you, my dear fellow? Hello, Mr. Sholmes. Gina. You sure about what you said in there? That the boss, you know, actually died the day before? It's pretty hard to swallow. Yes, I was shocked by the revelation too, Gina. As was I! Possibly more shocked than both of you. No, I was the most shocked of all. It's not a competition, Mr. Sholmes. But I was more shocked than all of you put together. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, that's Adam. cute. I like that. This is the autopsy report in question, is it? Yes. It's strange that there's no time of death noted. I suppose there's a simple explanation. Or perhaps it was a deliberate omission. Oh dear. If it was deliberate, it puts me in mind of the last case we worked on. And Dr. Scythe. I know. Anyway, it seems that on the day before Lord Van Zeek discovered his body, Inspector Gregson was investigating the Remheaded League. So perhaps something happened with them. Come to think of it, you had trouble with those League men too, didn't you, Mr. Sholmes? You were taken in by their trick. No, no, no. Naturally, I wasn't taken in, as you put it. My sleuth hound interest was merely piqued slightly by the rare scent of a weekly four pound income. And that scent masked the underlying scent of de deception, I suppose. The two criminals in question are the pair we saw being arrested yesterday, aren't they? In Mr. Sholmes's suite, I mean. That's right, Suze. And it was me what took him in. Thanks to a tip-off by a good law-abiding citizen. Indeed. Yours truly. So it's going to be that pair in the witness stand next, is it? Something doesn't quite make sense to me, though. The day before Inspector Gregson was found, you hadn't had trouble with the Red-Headed Le Red League yet, had you? Why would the Inspector have been, have been investigating them? Well, the likely explanation would be... that Gregson's own sleuth-hound interest was piqued by the rare scent of a weekly four-pound income. <laughs> Don't tar him in with the same brush as you, Sholmes. Yes. Well, then there's the whole issue of Inspector Gregson being investigated by Lord Van Zeeks for some reason. I forgot about that. The Reaper, the Red-Headed League, Inspector Gregson, Lord Van Zeeks, Metal Gear... And Cosima. Psy <laughs> Psycho Mantis. <laughs> I feel as though he knew we'd arrive at this point somehow. Gosh, I think you're right. What's he really trying to achieve here today? All the answers will be will soon be revealed. Next time on <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Observe the time, my dear fellow. This recess will be over very shortly. Yes, you're right. Cosimo was determined that he should be the one to prosecute this trial. He was determined that I should take the defense. Just what is it that he's hoping to make me see, I wonder? I get the feeling we're a long way from the end of this trial yet. 
Are you ready then, Miss Susato? Yes. It's almost like the game is telling us this is going to be more than one day. <laughs> to be fair, if you don't know that by now, it's kind of your fault. Yeah. I mean, we're like nowhere near finding any bit of what the truth is, it, it, it feels like, definitively. Uh, Mew cheered 100 bits saying, let's update that autopsy report. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session again. We resume the closed court hearing of Barak Van Zeeks, here present, who stands accused of murder. Now then, Prosecutor Asogi. My Lord. Have you summoned the witnesses as requested? Yes. The two members of the Red-Headed League who planned and carried out the deception. They arrived not long ago from the local prison by police carriage. Very good. Bailiff, usher the two men into the room. He's got lots of spaghetti. Oh, He's got a spaghetti. spaghetti. He's got lots of. I hope he has lots of spaghetti. <laughs> hey, there's a note here, dear pesky lawyers. <laughs> These two men are currently being held by the police on suspicion of attempted extortion. You may omit your occupations, but state your names now for the court. That's so cool. I am Fabian de Rousseau. A descendant of the great de Rousseau family from Nietzsche on France. Hey, hey. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <gasps> He's Pepino! Wow. This, this motherfucker's name is Pepino! He's a Pepe. He's a little Pepe. Pizza Tower. He's a little Pepe. I'm in Pepe. And my my name is Pepito de Rossi. Isn't that red in Spanish or in Italian? I am the third son of the great Familia de Rossi, the landowners from Napoli. The two men first became acquainted at a boarding school for European nobility. Oh wait a minute, is is B Bohemian boy? <laughs> Go, come back and be part of this group? <laughs> Those who graduate from Temsic are the future leaders of Europe. Oh, Big Kerbo says both de Rousseau and de Rossi mean red, of red. Okay, that's funny. Uh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's, funny. that's cute. I like that. What is Temsic? No way. Is that a ghost trick reference? In it, I think it is. Yeah, it's gotta it's a be. Ghost trick reference. Holy shit! It's almost That's like the guy who wrote this game reference. wrote that game. But do you have any idea how boring it is to be born with noble blood? Hello. I make it my mission to get the better of the world by employing the little gray cells of my brain. That is all I am trying to do, huh? So, that's the only reason for this whole grand deception you've been carrying out? We, oui. you could say that. <laughs> Not bad, eh? He has the grand ideals, but the petty plans. This strange combination is the charm of the Hilarious Brothers. What the literal fuck? Ah, uh, Hilarious. Uh, these guys really are Hilarious. Also, he should have did a Mario jump there, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Whoa. Yeah, no, he to do a Mario jump. Yippee. Amazing, amazing. Oh, wow. See, wow. couple? Aw, he's cute. Yeah. Oh, look at his little belly button. His button's button just hanging out. Listen to me, Peppino. I have two things to say to you. 
Eh? Sì? Are you about to tell me one of your grandi anecdote? Evviva! Firstly, I want you to stop calling me this couple. And secondly, we are not the hilarious brothers. This is serious business. Che bello! There it is! The couple's the trump card! The furrowed brow! It is deep, huh, couple? The furrow and the meaning of your words. I love how tiny his hands are. I don't know why. It's just so he's, endearing to me. He's just such a cute little He's a little, little baby. I, he's a little bambino. He's a little bambino. I wanna, he's a little pepino. I want to put, put him in a snow globe and put that snow globe up on my mantelpiece. I know. The court has been led to believe that under the banner of the Red-Headed League... You have conspired to swindle money from unsuspecting members of the public. Is this true? We oui, say so. And what exactly was the nature of this deception by which you planned to defraud? Hello, I will explain it. No, Capo! Leave it to a me! As you see, we both have the vivid red hair, no? At the school, we were teased for this without pity. The Capo here, he was many times behind the schoolhouse, crying like the Trevi Fountain. Hey, I'm a place ah, I'm... Those dogs! What they say well be respect as redheads! <laughs> Trevi Fountain. I've been there several times. Ah, ah. Ah. Every night he would bury his head in his pillow and weep for hours. Say ben, Peppino. Enough. I will explain the rest. The first step was the newspaper advertisement. About one week before the plan was put into operation, we listed the same notice in every paper in London. Oh, I just looked it up because I had to know. Uh, capo means boss in Italian. Uh, oh, yeah. I cute. could have just told you that. Thank you, Fridge. Yeah, we have a real Italian. Yeah, I could name this episode Ace Attorney with an actual Italian. I can't speak and almost now, any Italian. I can speak almost no Italian, but I do know what some words mean. Mm. And yeah, Capo. And now I can organically use the SpongeBob quote. Yeah, sorry, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we saw that notice. It was this one, I believe, entitled To the Red-Headed League. Oui, c'est ça. I am honored that you have seen it. It states that the only condition for joining the League is having flame-colored hair, and that if you satisfy the interview panel and are admitted into the League, you could receive a weekly income of four pounds. On the date specified, red-headed hopefuls gathered in droves at a park specified in the advertisement. And from each person present, this pair took an application fee of five shillings. And with the money to France. It was a plan most elegant, no? No, it was most dishonorable. But to be frank... <laughs> I'm stunned anybody was foolish enough to be taken in by such an obvious trick. <laughs> Sholm sweats nervously in the corner. <laughs> the park was described by one witness as choked with red-headed folk like a Costa's orange barrow. And the day on which all these men gathered to apply was the day before the victim was discovered. Crucially, these two men spoke face to face with every single person present that day. We, oui. I have seen more red-headed people in one day than I will see the rest of my life. See, si, see, si. and now every time I see the capo's hair, I feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> anyway, why have you been summoned here today? Sorry. 
The date for our trial was not until tomorrow, I was told. Naturally, neither of these men have been told any details about this trial. Mm -hmm. They've only been shown this photograph. Very good. That is the guy my capo killed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you remember when you killed that guy, capo? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Zoot hello. <laughs> Mad. So, Mr. De Rousseau and Mr. De Rossi, you will now give me your formal testimony for the court. On the subject of the gentleman pictured in this photograph. Of course, we are always ready to help with the law. This motherfucker is just pounding that spaghetti. Just housing it. Like, like I a mean, true Italian? He, he, listen, he's storing that spaghetti in his cheeks for the winter. <laughs> this is just how like a little op Italian this, squirrel. This is how Italians operate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat large amounts of pasta during the fall so we can survive in the hot. So we do this. <laughs> uh, Italians are Sicily's bears. <laughs> we have <What>? mouths. <laughs> The bears of Sicily, they just they just live in the rest of Italy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they they move. They Max, migrated. Study, Max, study your history. The great bear migration <laughs> where all the bears move from Sicily to mainland uh -huh. yeah. Italy. Listen, just... most, most humans are descended from apes, but Italians are descended from bears. Uh, uh, and they, they, they go to uh, the, the fucking canals in Naples, and they just... They, they they watch all the spaghetti swimming upstream and they have to catch it. <laughs> all the meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> First off, it's Venice that's known for the canals. Yeah, I fucked it up. Jackets. Yeah, I fucked it up. I'm on culture. Oh, God. We had more than 1,000 red-headed people assemble in the park on Lime Street that day. But I don't recall the man in this photograph. I couple. No, I don't remember him. Obviously, he is dead now, but I assure you, he was not in the park. Alora, this victim is nothing to do with us. You have a lot to answer for, Peppino. It is your fault that we got caught in the first place. You've given sworn testimony that this man is the fo in the photograph was not present. Can you be certain? We, oui, we, oui. I'm quite certain. We did not interview this man. Nobody looking like this man came to the park. This I can promise. That's a good touch. It must be noted that you have been arrested for a grand deception, however. Accordingly, this court has little confidence in your assurances. Oof, uh, with this attitude, we get a nowhere, huh? He's really a sul he's really a sulking now. <laughs> <laughs> this confidential document was obtained directly from Scotland Yard. It records an entry from the inspector's private diary dated the day before the incident. It reads, Lime Street, Red-Headed League, Undercover. Ah, I have the answer! Maybe there was another similar event in the park on the day in question, eh? He literally said the Red-Headed League. Okay, thank that you. That is ridiculous. Thank you, Rousseau. There's no question that Inspector Gregson was investigating the Red-Headed League. Which means it's quite possible that that's when he was killed. Very well. The defense may proceed with the cross-examination now. Ah, yes, my lord.
All right, the man in the photograph. I'm talking to the man in man the photograph. In the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. We already did this. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I mean, the thing I really want to press is the last statement where he's like, it's your fault that we got caught, but then doesn't elaborate mm. what that's all about. Yeah, 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 I don't remember him. Obviously, he's dead now to show you. He was not in the park. The victim has nothing to do with us. You have a lot to answer for being as your fault. Yeah, let's learn about that for sure. Yeah. What did you do, you little Pepino? Pepino, what did you do? What do you mean by that? Cavolo! You promised not to say! Hi, Capo! After we had taken all the money that day, we should have left the country. That was my plan. Also, Local Charmer says, I'm getting paid Friday, this is going to be compensated quickly. And they also had, I can eat later. Local Charmer, you don't even give us money if you don't have it. Please, please take care of yourself. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can do more than eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's only Wednesday. You got two more full days before you get paid. <clears throat> oh, and <laughs> Miles and Edgeworth just tipped $5. Saying objection. Thank you for that. Uh, shout out to me. Oh, and they say I, I have right. tomorrow off and I'm clean. Okay, okay, okay. All okay. right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> I left the purchasing of the tickets for the ferry to Dunkirk to my companion here. But he bought them for the wrong day. Oops. <laughs> See, but it is an easy mistake to make, huh? The first, the thirty-first. <laughs> oh, I have no sympathy for you. You have a tummy ache. We were an all day late for the boat because of your stupidity, and it's only because of this that the so-called great red-headed detective caught us. Capo. You know what I think? This is the work of God. He's a holy punishment, eh? Javi was not happy with them doing this. <laughs> Pepino, for the last time, <laughs> I'm an atheist. <laughs> this is not holy punishment. This is only your fault. Ah... <laughs> Don't blame God for your unholy mistakes. <laughs> That's a metal line. Yeah. Shout out shout out to uh Roly Beat saying that was the first time I cursed God. God. Yeah, oh, what a good line. <laughs> that was the first time I ever cursed God. And it was from Roly Beat, a man who couldn't be awake for less than half of the trial. <laughs> <laughs> The most tiredest boy. Oh, God. <laughs> that was when I became a persona protagonist <laughs> and had to fight God. I think I made that joke probably. <laughs> Knowing us, yes. Yeah, but, it, yeah, but it's uh, persona, so you're allowed uh, to make it again. <laughs> exactly. You are making me sick with anger. Hmm. Maybe I make a mistake. But when it's time to eat at the pasta, no one is faster. What? <laughs> you do That's... you do your country proud, Peppino. That you the do line your country proud. Maybe I make a mistake, uh, but when it's time to eat at the pasta, no one is a faster. Incredible. Ten out of ten, no notes. This guy's the Joey Chestnut of spaghetti. Like <laughs> wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen the evidence. <sighs> they haven't told us much we didn't already know. What do you think, Mr. Norahoto? Well, I think that Peppino eats pasta really fast. <laughs> well, if it was in the inspector's diary, it seems likely that he must have gone to Lime Street on that day. Yet, these two both, don't, uh, both claim they didn't see him. 
I have to say... They don't appear to be telling lies. Well, they are experts in deception, don't forget. <clears throat> Sounding plausible is their specialty. They may be lying simply to avoid being implicated in this case as well. Surely if they were truly experts in deception, they wouldn't have been caught. Well, yes, you do have a point there. It seems like we need more information. Definitely. Okay, we gotta press more shit. More than a thousand people in the park. That kind of just feels like nothing. I don't recall the man in the photograph. Possibly they'll say something. Did we look at it? What? But did we look at the photograph? Oh well, I'm sure we'll uh. we might get the chance to do that. Holy freaking look at this! He doesn't look at all familiar. No, I don't think so. And this is a wig, eh? He was uh, trying to trick us. I do not like the people who are trying to trick the other people. Says the con artist. If between them they interviewed a thousand people with red hair, it would be unreasonable to expect them to remember every face. No, no, signore. I may be small. But my memory is very large. I never forget a thing. In my opinion, I do not think this man was in the park. But he's not going to give the court a definite. Uh, but he's not going to give the court a definite. It seems. Hey, Capo, you didn't see a man like this, huh? Hmm. Don't remember him, and obviously he's dead now. But I assure you, he was not in the park. I don't know why that phrasing makes me curious. But according to what you said, you spoke with a thousand or more people that day. Oui, that's true. My eyes were burning by the end of the day. Surely then, you can't actually remember every single face. How are you so certain? that this particular man wasn't present. Normally, the red hair is very distinctive, eh? But not when you have 1,000 redheads crowding around. Then it's just an eyesore. But if there was some other information you could give us, maybe then we would recall. Okay. That is not the line, Pepino. Remember, we do not remember him. We are sure of that fact. Huh? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Kind of seems like you're saying you were told not to remember him. If there was a man with a red airpiece, but his moustache did not match the color, then I do not think I could have forgotten him. Oh, oh okay, well... Cosmas said these two had only been shown the photograph, and they'd seen nothing else at all. But what if I just fed them one detail about the victim? For example... I mean... His fish... You got it. It's gotta be the fish and chips. Fish and chips. Come on. I mean, what else is there? I can certainly appreciate that just knowing the man had red hair wouldn't help you remember him in this situation. But what if I told you that man was always munching on a packet of fish and chips? <laughs> I love how they gave him the shitty day grin sprite for that. Do you remember a man who was eating incessantly? Uh, Not really. I was looking <gasps> only at the heads of the apricots. Oh, come on. Come on, Italian but boy. Pepito's like, oh, I know somebody <laughs> like that. I wouldn't have noticed the fish and chips any more than the caviar and smoked salmon. Or a spaghetti! God damn it. Me, I love the spaghetti. <laughs> really? I had no idea. <laughs> Tell them again what you said before, Pepino. See, si, Capo, see. Si. I say it again and again. Okay, so we gotta go back and pick the right one. Sure you can! <laughs> Get us to the thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, it can't be his name, right? It's got. It has to be his profession. Because they also being criminals, they would probably be like, "Oh shit, just a cop. We should probably." Uh... I can certainly appreciate that. Just knowing. Oh, he also could have lied about his profession. Yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't he want to lie about his profession? Yeah. In which case, it would be his name might be the only thing that he was being honest about. That's true. But he's also a famous cop, so like, I can certainly appreciate yeah, but, that. Yeah, but these guys aren't from here, so they probably wouldn't know. That's him. also true. I can certainly appreciate that just knowing the man had red hair wouldn't help you remember in this situation. But what if I told you that the man in the red hair piece was actually a detective? Oh, are they going to say something about Sholmes? The man in the photograph. A detective? Yes. It would appear he found your notice in the paper suspicious and decided to investigate incognito. Sorry. Okay. But this changes nothing. Gotcha! Excuse me! Something to add, Mr. De Rossi. Yeah? I see, I am always adding something. Parmesan, <laughs> olive oil, pepper. They really said, okay, okay, okay. How can we make the stupidest, worst Italian stereotype possible? Uh, like really going for it. <laughs> what I mean is, did you not agree with your friend's last remark by any chance? Eh? What did he just say about the detective? Yes, that. Keep your mouth shut, Pepino. You have already said enough. You have said enough already. But why, Capo? What is the problem? There was a man who said, I am an inspector from Scotland Yard. Okay, well, we got your ass. What? Good lord. Oh, he's got, look at how tiny he's he is. so baby. Order, order, order. Explain this for, for the, what? Is that like Volta Face or something? Maybe. Nah, Maybe? it's it just means electric face. Volt face. Yeah, it's my my new my new favorite uh, Pokemon it's, move. That sounds like a transformer. Gonna say is that a Pokemon move? Yeah. Volt face. You headbutt them with your electric. Yeah, you just headbutt them with an electric attack. It's Volt Foss. Okay, what does Volt Foss mean? Uh, an act of turning around so as to be faced in the opposite direction. Oh, okay, so like we just say about faced, but yeah, explain this about faced. Okay. Yeah. Explain this vault farce in your testimony, witness. It's simple. A man who was at the park said to us, uh, he was an inspect. There was no such man. My die! What are you saying, Capo? Have you forgotten it? God, he's so stupid, and I love him. <laughs> I have forgotten nothing. Nobody <laughs> likes this came to the park. I was little, just like holding the fucking fork up, too. Like, yeah, I got a fork. <laughs> pasta, Capo, pasta! You beat me at many things, but not to the memory and the meals. <laughs> Like I said, when it's time to eat the pasta, no one is a fast. God damn it. But you are inferior to me in every other way. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was more just a general. <laughs> Uh, I had to look up how to pronounce this because I can, dare, can guarantee you it's not trop tard. <laughs> drop, drop, drop tard. tard. <laughs> no, that's when you use the bathroom. You drop turd. <laughs> drop tard. All right, that's what Larry the Cable Guy says. We just gotta go. All right, y'all, I gotta go. Drop tard. <laughs> uh, wow, damn that axiom. It's is so good. Right. Spot on. I tell you what, I gotta go get her done and drop tard. <laughs> Uh, it's total. Mm. Total. It means too late. 
Mm. Total. Sit down and she's done. Also, uh, Mark, Remarkable Me just gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Indeed it is, sir. Oh, yeah. There was a man who came to the park and he said he was an inspector from Scotland Yard. However, he looked nothing like the man in this photograph. He was someone else. How can you be so sure? Because, to start with, his face was completely different. See, it's true, it's true. The man who came was a young Okay, so this was Shams in disguise? His face was clean shaven. His eyes were sadder. His chin was thinner. No resemblance whatsoever, then. Oh, it was uh, Vigil. Oh! Because oh. Oh. all of those describe him. Yeah! Like, to Holy shit, good, good pull, Wes. So did Vigil go from prison guard to... Detective? <laughs> detective? Yeah, I do, I do think he... he was working with Gregson. Yeah, is that capacity. why we think he's working with Gregson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I was not going to be fooled. I took the obvious precaution and said to him, If you are really a detective, show us the proof. See, see, the capo here, he doesn't take a no nonsense, eh? But he was well prepared. He said he had identification. Uh, identification? You mean official police inspector's identification? That is most unconvincing. Sorry, my lord? Counsel, no incognito inspector would offer his identification for inspection. It's quite out of the question. Remember, if you ask a cop if he's undercover, he has to tell you. Otherwise, it's entrapment. Legal, you have to tell me. Definitely. Why would he expose his true identity? Clearly, the papers were fake. Certo, capo! You are a genius! As we say in Italia, it takes the thief to recognize another, eh? And what happened after he announced that he was the detective? It became very annoying. He said, you are under investigation. So I took his papers from him and chased him out of the park. It was a fantastic! And look here, here is the identification. So you stole it from the man. You stole it from a police officer. He had it coming. He made us very scared. But he was not who he said he was. Indeed. The person described does not appear to have behaved as a true inspector would. However, I believe it would be prudent for these identification papers to be entered into evidence. <laughs> but I like them. <laughs> what? Oh, well, if you like them, then I mean, uh, just keep yeah, them. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I could never you say no to you. You just took them from the small child. I could child. never say you to you. You're so adorable. Can, check the court re record. Does it say how old Pepino is? Uh, people. 25. 25? Oh, wait. Look at, look oh, at his neck. Look at his his neck. neck is also choked. Is it? Oh, I guess so. You definitely can't see it on his character model, but it is there. Wow. That is a 25 year old being. Sure is. How old is He's 26. Fabian? I mean, that Six. works for me. Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that. Uh-huh. Oh. Now, let us return to the witness's testimony. Let's say, actually, while we're here, also, why don't we look at the evidence? Oh, yeah. Uh, do I... Oh, I have to go to the side? Open sesame! Well, I suppose we should see what, what this inspector's identification looks like inside. Come on. Oh, oh okay, there's no picture. I was hoping it was going to be funny. Local Charmer just gifted another 25 subs! Oh my gosh! 
Uncle Charmer! <laughs> Uncle Charmer has you. I'm you, say 25. You've already charmed us quite enough! I know! We're so charmed! Wait, trust me! All of our hearts have been filled in, local charmer. But what needs to you be back... filled now is your belly with food. <laughs> Which you need to buy. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Jan Solis says, quick, somebody say 69. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Yes. Definitely looks fake, doesn't it? Out of interest, what name is given? Probably just something plucked out of the air. It's... Tobias Gregson. Wait, what? Interesting. This Scotland Yard insignia... Looks genuine to me. But... Uh, how? And the department and identification number details are all correct as well. Since when have you known those? I was going to ask that too. <laughs> do, do you mean to say? I know it seems incredible, but yes, I think this is a genuine identification book issued by Scotland Yard. But that's... that's unbelievable. This is the real thing after all. Okay, so... Either Gregson gave it to Vigil or Vigil took it. Yeah. I don't know the yeah, answer. Yeah, to yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what can we do with that? Show to you, kid! Vigil has nothing to do. Don't remember him. I mean, I feel like we could present it in several things. Um. Yeah, the question is like, where do we present it to? I, he was not in the park. I mean, I guess this would prove that he was in the park, kind of, maybe? I... You could try it. I just don't know where else. I mean, like, there's several things that could be presented. Objection. Hey! Oh, that was it. I wonder if I could ask you to examine this identification book very closely. Miss Lestrade. Why Miss Lestrade? Oh, it's not what fun. What is your intention here, Council? Is this really a fake, or is it genuine? That's the question, which we can't answer ourselves. Objection. I mean, the judge should be able to answer that. I feel like. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. No Scotland Yard detective would allow his or her identification to be stolen. That... that... that is the boss's... a question about it. It can't be! As I suspected, the undercover detective who attended the Red-Headed League's enrollment on the day in question was the real Inspector Gregson carrying out an incognito investigation. Z Zutalo! He said it! He said the thing! Oh, and he fell. Yeah. O order! Order! But if the boss had his identification stolen, he would have reported it straight away. I mean, he was always on me about it. If you lose Summit, report it at once, he'd say. Could it be, then, that the inspector was physically unable to re uh, physically unable to report it? Physically? Eh? What are you saying? We're going to falsely accuse you of murder right now, so get ready for uh, that. Unable to? You're, you're not suggesting? Yes! It's quite possible that he was killed before he had the chance to report his identification stolen. No! Order! 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 The defense posits that the victim was killed the day before his body was discovered at a different location. Do you two 
have anything to say about that? Sure you can. <laughs> oh, now, now, now you can see his throat is uh is marked. Yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> I know <done> nothing. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Papino. Mon dieu, you can behave a little more like a master criminal than that, no? <laughs> now I wish I had returned to Italia. Not <laughs> <laughs> um, so bad. S stop crying, Papino, please. <gasps> Otherwise, I. I. <laughs> Lummy, stop your whining and start talking. Well, I believe oh, the shit. court will leave I know nothing! <laughs> I done <it> nothing! <laughs> but you will tell everything or face the worst possible outcome. No. Pasta before dinner, before bedtime. <laughs> no! <laughs> we'll put you in a jail cell with, uh, oh, what are those guys called? Case 1 5. Skulkin Brothers? The Skulkin yeah, we'll put you in a cell brothers. with the Skulkin Brothers so you can have a tall, short. Brother off. Brother off! <laughs> We're gonna eat a bunch of cannolis and not give you any. <laughs> now I want a cannoli. Oh, I, want a, I love cannolis <laughs> so much. Listen, you gotta love a cannoli. Mm. Everybody loves cannolis. Mm. <laughs> you will dry your eyes and testify again about these identification papers and the precise circumstances under which you came by them. <laughs> For crying out loud! Yeah. I am crying out loud! <laughs> Well, that uh, yeah, is that not a perfect stop. But yeah, it's incredibly good timing wise. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you could say these boys are pasta their prime. Ah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> wow, fucking got we're, gonna on, we're gonna end on that note. Yep. Yeah, let's listen. We gotta end this episode with a little bit of pizzazz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pridge, Pridge, you gotta have a pasta pun in you. Come on, come on. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> I guess you're not much of a matzo fella after all. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> matzo fella. <laughs> Folks, that's going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you want to catch it live, watch us on twitch.tv slash Save Dinner Team. We're here every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And, uh, hey, if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash Save Dinner Team. You can get yourself included in that Patreon song, because uh, this is a ding-dang fun time. But until next time, stick around for art, because court is adjourned. So be... Uh, with remember when uh, Cooler Kazuma <laughs> is that an Elite Beats agent? It's a uh, uh, Wendon. It's a Wendon. Which hey shit. Oh, oh it's an Wendon. I forgot reference. to mention this. Okay. If you didn't see this month's donation goal, folks. Also, if you missed the stream on Sunday, me and Soapy played Elite Beat Agents on stream. It's incredible. Such a good video game. The edited video You're will be coming up later. Saddest song ever. And uh, I have a. a a drawing tablet now. So, uh, if you want to see us play more rhythm games, specifically the Wendon games, uh, you donate to our PayPal. It's a flock at you with a bit of an old shit post in terms of art style, but I was proud of the little cup animation at the time. All right, one, two, three. Oh, you haven't met my partner? Oh, you'd love Jess. Uh, why'd you call your partner, not your girlfriend? Because I'm better than you. What? Look at me. I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. <laughs> Very good.
Very good. <laughs> Just randomity with drawing each other Phoenix drawing is traced from official art of Reno's gate because I didn't actually feel like putting effort into that Lamal. The second image is everyone's drawing together to see them better. <laughs> I do love, yeah, the the very cute anime eyes uh, that Maya drew. The the much more like real life, accurate to your style of Maya. Susato drew the kind of simple uh, Rinosuke drawing, and then Phoenix, just the perfect Rinosuke, just the fucking spot on. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious what our community thinks. Who is the the more competent lawyer person? Ooh. Yeah, Ryu or Phoenix? That's actually really little... tough. They're both little goofballs, but I'm curious who who people in the community think is the bore. Like that's actually really tough. Ace of Spades with I drew Val's favorite little guy for her birthday. Also, it's Val's birthday. What the heck? You gotta you gotta drop that. You can't just let that Happy slide. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Val! Saying I drew birthday, Val. Val's favorite guy for her birthday. Also, this is my first Ace Attorney stream. Val says it's not. Oh well, Val. <laughs> Get out of uh, here! When it's next Wednesday. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Also, today's my first Ace Attorney stream, plus an Ashley Graydon sketch I did, because he's my all-time favorite. Well, hey, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Heck yeah. And also, your Thanks art is hanging out. really freaking good. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, Wolf, with I drew Wes wearing Herlock's Sholmes' jacket, watching back the Ace Attorney VODs, it's simply amazing how Wes manages to make such distinct voices for each character. I can't listen to the original cast voices without thinking that this feels weird. I really love Wes's upbeat, positive, and cheerful attitude with them, with the horny and witty clips. Thank you, Wes, for being the stupendous Wes. Thank you, Wes, for being the stupendous Wes. <laughs> well, I guess everyone, that's what you have to start calling me from now on. The stupendous I won't Wes. Yeah, I'm not going to accept just calling me Wes. <laughs> or oh, no. literally, oh, no. you have to refer to me as Stupendous Wes. It's gone to his head, folks. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? Es how, how to, to escape horny Yeah. Fear. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Wolf, thank you so much. That's yeah, so sweet. This is really, really, really good. Mean. That really means a lot. I really, really appreciate that. Aww. Seriously. Uh, Neil with one and two logic versus Cyclops, which is better, but also both they both complement each other as they have different approaches to the situation while still retaining the same goal. Yeah, no. I, at some point when we play Investigations, we'll learn about Edgeworth's logic. Uh, yeah, the the logic mechanics, it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. There's some good parts about it. Uh, Emma says, hi, here's a really small animatic of Chunosuke and Friends I tried to make uh, out of a children's book art style, although it isn't my usual style, I'm pretty proud of this. By the way, in case you have trouble reading the next the text bubble, it says, why is there a child in the courthouse? Yeah, not even playing this, this looks incredible. Uh, so yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. This, is, this is really good. Two, three. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's so good, really Emma. Cute. Yeah, it's, it's it's very storybook. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. It's a like very cool storybook aesthetic. Yeah, this is yeah. sick. This is awesome, Emma. I love this. Yen with Cosma isn't the same person he used to be. <laughs> we will find... We found out who we'll be prosecuting tomorrow. Cosima Asogi. My former apprentice. My former apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I can trust you with my defense. Oh, really? I'm so honored. I have here a hundred reasons Barak Van Seeks is a guilty liar. Oh shit, he's talking. <laughs> also, my scroll is way bigger than his. Are you looking, Ryanosuke? He was mute when he was my apprentice. Wait, is that the reason you trusted me to win? Yeah, you might be fucked. <laughs> What about all that stuff you said about my eyes and putting your life in my hands? You can't prove I said all that. <laughs> I also have more swords than he does. He's not even good looking, he's just tall. <laughs> Don't worry, I can take care of the rest of the time. <laughs> Her putting on the hat is really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, Ed. <yeah. laughs> it's so true. That's very good. Oh, society, this is really good. Caden Animations moment. It's drawn in the Jaden Animations uh, art style. That's so good. 
That is good. <laughs> oh, it also kind. Is, is he? Is he supposed to look like the Pringles mascot? I was going to say, he also does kind of look like the Pringles mascot, which is just <laughs> a funny coincidence. <laughs> which, as as everyone who's part of Save Data knows, is... Is every protagonist, pop- yeah. Is every protagonist. <laughs> Blue with, uh, I miss him. I miss my son every day. His sign language is the British variant, so if it doesn't line up with ASL, that's why. It is genuinely <laughs> wild that American sign language is different from what they do in England, because we both speak the same language verbally but yeah that it i mean i guess that's so i get that how that they would develop computed. separately but that's, that's also a blue super cute super cute drawing uh also give this give this man a cookie luna with i probably won't be around for stream since i'm planning on playing greatest attorney my on my own time but i joined the server last night and i never finished this drawing today and i just finished this drawing today so i thought i'd throw it in I always liked the look of the Black Cyclox. To, I thought the look of Black Cyclox to be underwhelming, to say the least, so I designed them to be more unique. Most of this is just taken vaguely from the original Locks aesthetic, but the flowers are meant to be, resemble nightshades, which can symbolize silence or falsehoods. Yeah! No, I, I, I like cool. it as an addition, and like the extra symbolism on that is, is a very cool choice. So hell yeah, Luna. Yeah. And thank yeah. you for joining the server. Uh, Biggie Cheese, with my tablet broke. Oh no! So here's some old art of my Greatest Attorney I, the Somni Files crossover designs. I think it'd be endlessly funny if Beric was a horribly sassy entity in Kazuma's head. Alternatively, Susato has definitely reused Eyeball, but I never got around to drawing that. Uh, the design for Beric Van Zeeks is incredible. <laughs> it's so good. He looks like he should simultaneously be in a strip club and also a Kingdom Hearts character. Uh, oh, wow, yeah. It's, it's just phenomenal. He looks- he looks primed to say, Come, Guardian! Yeah. <laughs> what kind of Guardian? <laughs> no, man, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, dorky with answering the question Zach asked last week. Oh, God. The, like, hyper-realistic drawing of me is something else. <laughs> dorky, I gotta ask. Somebody spent so much time drawing Man for Von Carver. How did it feel to wear the clothes? Was it a transformative experience? <laughs> <laughs> you turned into Seth Rogen for a yeah, second. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing with Dor- my own voice. Dorky, I-, I gotta ask, Dorky. <laughs> Zach, I'm not an actor. <laughs> well, Dorky, you know, the clip. you know, like, like you can, you can still, like, it's when people cosplay, like they feel they embody the character a little bit, you know. Uh, but that's incredible. It's very good. Reaper with Jaden Animations released a video about psychics and. Maya represented one of the psychics she visited, so I redrew this scene where, where Mia also shows up. Yeah, uh, I, I just watched this Caden Animations video uh, this week. It was, it was very funny, so if you're fans of her, go, go check it out. But uh, I love your version. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Because I like, I like your like eye trail that you draw on uh, Ghost Mia. It's, it's sick as heck. Croissant with <laughs> Tree Law. <laughs> Does it say Hedgejection? <laughs> I think, I think it does say hedge so, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, oh, fan the yeah, RT Envy. I have never seen <laughs> the show, but here's Beavis and Butthead, but Ryan and Cosmo. It's incredibly <laughs> yeah, good. Incredible. That you <laughs> fucking destroyed <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> God. <laughs> Objection. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Hold it. Oh. It's honestly going to terrify. <laughs> <laughs> I am Cornholio. I need objections for my bunghole. <laughs> 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 this is so stupid. Why are we laughing so hard at this? <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck. That's incredible, Finn. <laughs> oh. uh, are you like my learned friend. <laughs> oh, wow. It shouldn't make us laugh this hard, but it's really good. Category Ace. With, I can't help it. Every time Save Data mentions Yu-Gi-Oh, go into a fugue state and draw Yu-Gi-Oh Ace Attorney nonsense. Here's Francisca in the Yu-Gi-Oh art style, which was very easy for someone whose entire art style was changed by Yu-Gi-Oh about three years ago now. No, this is so good. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna play the uh, the foolish fool card <laughs> in attack mm-hmm. mode. Yeah. King Kieran with 
What if, hey, what if after Spider Gina's canon event, she just wore Gregson's coat wherever she went as Spider Woman? I think that's neat. That's really good. It, wow, yeah, it'd be yeah. like it'd be like it'd be similar to the Spider Noir costume. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> that's really cool. Yeah, Kieran, that fucking rips, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, <sighs> good choice. I like that a lot. <laughs> Beb, with I'm not gonna finish what I've been working on, so I have this dog toy. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Bev. Crime Wizard, with, with Gina being more prominent in this case, I had the urge to draw her a whole bunch, tried changing my art style, and showing some emotion. Also, some doodles. Oh, <laughs> these animations, these faces are yeah. really, really cute. Well, the top three are really, really They're cute. Very good. <laughs> the bottom left one is very sad. Just like her in-game sprite. I do love the sweat face and the like yeah. puffy cheek anger one. And the shading grin. Yeah. It's, it's good. I like I like the shading grin at the bottom, yeah. right? <laughs> it's very, very good. And <laughs> I'm a prosecutor, but watch the Great Ace Attorney Adventures coming to Twitch July 19th. <laughs> sponsored by Jabby. Oh, it is sponsored by Jabby. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. The, him, him cocking the gun, 10 out of 10. Very good. Callback and reference. Uh, and Mocha, a little rushed, but I'm getting my ass kicked by burnout still. Some pictures of the DGS stage play dropped, and I got particularly obsessed with Kazuma and heels. I'm aware everyone has them. It just hits different. Yeah, I don't know if y'all saw this, but the this, oh, the cool. stage play uh, just released pictures. Oh, is it, is it the, the, the all-female? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but no, the, the, the Cosmo and Heels is, is really, really cool, Mocha, so heck yeah. Very dope. 